որոսքը գտնվիմ սուր գովագի դեվանա եկեղեցին մեջը եւ ձեզ հետ միասին պատերակ կմատուցենք եւ կարողենք ասում խնդրելով ասո սերը եւ խաղությունը մեզ բոլորիս համար եւ այսօրվան ավետարանական ընթերցումը հացի բազմացման պատում մնա ահա քրիստոս կկալեր եւ բազում մարտիկը հետեւեին իր Եվ Քրիստոս երկար ժամեր կխոսեր նրանց հետ, որովհետև շատ ասելիք ուներ մեզին։ Ժամանակ քիչ ուներ, բայց ասելիք շատ ուներ։ Եվ ահա մարտիկ անոթից գացի։ Մարտիկ հարցեցին եւ եհայ աշակերտները երկան եւ Քրիստոսի նսին դեպ արտապետ մարտիկ սովազ է։ Արցակեր որ դու կնար եւ հաց ու դե։ Բայց Քրիստոս զարմանալի օրեն հսա ոչ հերու գնալու կարիքը չունեն անք եւ այսօր այս նախադասության մասին է որ պիտի խոսենք ընդհանրը մեկ նախադասություն որ քրիստոս սա բայց անոր մեջը մեզի համար ուղերց կա անոր մեզը մեզի համար սորվելիք ինչ որ բան կա որ մենք կարիքը չունենք ասուց հերու գնալու այլ ասում մոդիկ պիտի լինենք հաճախ մեզանի շատերը թաղցը գզգան եւ կհերանան եկեղեցու Աստուս կհերանան մտածելով որ ուրիշ տեղ ինչ որ մխիթարություն կգտնե բայց ասված գսե ոչ Քրիստոս գսե ոչ որովհետև ուր է որ գնակ իզնից լավը չէ գտնել ուր է որ գնակ չէ գտնելու մեկին որ իր կյանքը զոհեց քեզի համար ոչ մեն բոլորի համար ոչ մեն ամբողջ մարդության համար այլ քեզի համար իր կյանքը զոհեց եւ այսօր Քրիստոս որենք կանչե մեզի եւ գուզե որ իրեն ավելի մոդի գսկա եւ այսօր օրն է մեզի համար որ մեկ քայլ ավել կատարենք եւ մոդենանք ավելի քրիստոսին so dear brothers and sisters today i'm happy today i'm glad that i celebrate father akir in saint joachim and i'm blessed that i prayed with this community asking god for his love and for his mercy for all of us So honestly after their david it would be a little bit difficult to have a good sermon to deliver a good sermon no, no, no. but i will try no, no. let me do my best <laughs> so today's gospel reading is from the gospel of matthew and the passage is one of the miracles one of the famous and amazing miracles feeding of 5000 people As always there were many people following Jesus Christ and listening to his wise words Jesus talked to them told them for many hours because he didn't have too much time but he had a lot to tell us So basically every Sunday we do the same thing as Jesus did for more than 2000 years ago Jesus talked to them for many hours and then when they got hungry Jesus fed them Every Sunday we get together we pray for more than 2 hours and then when we get hungry we go eating except there is nobody to multiply our food So Jesus tell them that you need not to go away from me i assume that many of you may heard many sermons many speeches talks about this miracle about this story and today we going to pick up just one sentence of this story and we going to talk and think about that sentence about few words of jesus christ because i think there is something there for us there is a message there for us so disciples came to jesus christ and say and said teacher people are hungry let them go but surprisingly jesus said no they need not to go away from me sometimes some of us some of our brothers our sisters our relatives members of our churches when they feel thirsty when they get hungry in their spiritual 
life, in their faith, in their beliefs, they go away from God, they go away from the church trying to find satisfaction in somewhere else. But Jesus says, no. Wherever you go, you cannot find someone better than me. You cannot, someone, you cannot find someone who crucified his life for you. He didn't crucify his life for all of us, for all the people. He died for me. He died for you. Wherever you go, Jesus tells us that you cannot find better father than your heavenly father in the kingdom of heaven. You need not to go away from me. Because I take care of you. Because God is taking care of all the time. See, God feed us not only with spiritual food, but today we saw with physical food. And more than that, today He fed us with the greatest food in the world, the Holy Communion, which is the very reason for our gathering today. But here we have another problem. We realize, we understand that we need to be closer to God. But we always accept something, expect something to get from God. We always expect to take something from God. Sometimes we hear that I didn't get anything today from Mother. I didn't get anything today from church. Whenever we pray, we have the least of our wishes and we think that God should grant whatever we want. But the problem is not in Badarak, the problem is not in the church, the problem is within us. Because we don't come to the church to get something, but we come to the church to give something. We come to the church to praise God. We come to the church to say, Thank you for God. I don't come to the church every Sunday because I'm a priest. I have to be there here every Sunday. I come to the church every Sunday because I know that God is waiting here for me. God is waiting here for all of you. I have a beautiful story. It's a fiction story, but it's one of my favorites. So in Europe, during the weekdays, all the churches are empty. Nobody goes to the church from Monday through Friday. Churches are empty, doors are closed, lights are turned off, candles are turned off. But someday, a man who was walking by the church saw that, noticed that there is a light in the church. It was strange for me. So he decided to go in. And when he went in, he saw that somebody is praying in front of the altar, nailed down just in front of the cross in front of the altar. And he decided to move forward to see who is praying. And when he got close, he saw that God is praying. He said, God, everybody is praying for you. Whom are you praying for? And God said, I am praying for you. I am praying for all the people. I am praying for humans, for mankind. He said, but God, you are almighty. Go outside. You can see them all. You can see all the people from your heaven. And God said, no, I cannot see them anymore. Because people I see from my heaven are not the people that I created. They went away from me. I am praying to get them back. I want to see them back because I miss them. So today the message for us is today we have to do something more. To do one step forward closer to our God and to our Savior and our Lord Jesus Christ Christ.